Beyond the Syntax, Comments versus Code. In this video, we're going to be discussing the pros and cons of writing comments. I'm going to be demonstrating what you should avoid when writing comments, as well as demonstrating what you should include. First of all though, let's answer the question of should you write comments in your code? Of course, the answer is yes, that we read code far more than we write code. And therefore, comments can be used to help bolster the knowledge of what the code is actually doing. So let's talk about some of the benefits of writing comments within our code. First of all, we have better code clarification. Because when we're writing comments, we should be explaining the why. We should also be explaining the how. We should be planning and reviewing our comments and the code as we develop our application. We also have resource inclusion. This means that we can actually provide different ASCII arts within our comments as well. And of course, we can actually debug the application by commenting out the code and then running that code and seeing if it works. The cons, of course, happen really when comments start getting rotten. Comments can get very rotten quite quickly. Creating comments in your code will increase the footprint of your code base and therefore have a bigger overhead when you're pushing your code to a production server. However, this can be mitigated when you are deploying. You can remove comments through that deployment process. When the comments start getting stale or when they start getting rotten and when they don't have any relevance to the code in which they are around, this adds noise to the code base and it can become quite confusing when you're reading comments that don't actually relate to the code that the user is actually trying to debug or read. So let's start talking about bad comments. These are comments that are rotten. They provide no value to the application. The first one is a pointless comment. So we have a function here called get active users and we have the comment get active users. So this comment is completely pointless. I might as well just read the function definition. I mentioned before about comments explaining the why, the why of the application, why the code is doing or working in such a way. If we don't explain this, then the comment is useless. So in this case, we have this code needs refactoring. We have no explanation as to what refactoring needs to go on here. We just have a note, this code needs refactoring. Now, this is actually quite a valid piece of information. However, we shouldn't be putting it within the comments. We should actually be putting this within an issue in your source control. And of course, we have rude comments. These comments provide zero benefit, zero value to the code base. It's just irritating to read when you are a developer and you're reading someone else's code and you come across a comment such as this. Next, we have out of date comments and also comments that have the wrong context. So in this case, we have the developer's initials. In this case, it's PF for myself, Peter Fisher. And we also have a date. This date is way back in 2014. The comment is loop over the pets and update the portfolio. In this case, the code may have worked in relation to this comment back in 2014. However, since then, we've changed the context from looping over pets to looping over programming languages. And therefore, this comment needs to be updated. Another point I want to make here is that we shouldn't be adding our initials or the date in which the comment or the code was created within our code. This creates noise and also these pieces of meta information are actually stored within the source code that you're using. A good comment will provide meaning and provide warnings when necessary. This is the comment for the math.floor function that is the inbuilt module in Python. So this is saying what it is actually doing. So it's returning floor of X as a float. And of course we have a warning here. This is the largest integral value which is less than or equal to X. A good comment will also give reasoning and include usage. This usage must be as up to date as possible. 